Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is Asheville. Today, we're gonna to build a custom boardroom table for my shipping container office. Come and take a seat at the table. I'll take a million tons. So we're gonna design something bespoke. I want something which is completely unique. A bit like uh, my bespoke desk here. So I'm not entirely sure when we put it together how we're gonna do it. With the help of my team, I recently created a new office for myself. We fully refurbished and fitted out a 40-foot shipping container to create a personal space for me to think, relax, and basically run the business from. However, for important business meetings, I needed a table where at least six people could sit in a clean, professional, and inspirational environment because the staff canteen wasn't doing it for me anymore. With, with your normal tip of grabs, um, mm -hmm. what bodies do you go with? Obviously, like any normal person, when I first started, I just Googled boardroom table. But we are very tight on space, and I didn't want to be measuring and just finding a table that fit, that looks like any other boardroom table. After the work that we had put into the new office, all the customizing and personalizing, I decided that we'd have to go down the same route with the boardroom table. I want something which is completely unique. I want to use high-end construction materials to create something that fits in seamlessly and is beautiful as a standalone piece. I think what would look great is if we had two A's, a bit like uh, my bespoke desk here. I'm thinking of an A, at each end and then something going over the top of the two of them. Now, I really like my kitchenette in my new office. I like that quartz stone. So if we could make these A's out of the quartz stone and have a top like this, I think that would look really good. I do like the idea of, you know, standard boardroom tables. They're generally like a timber, or I like like a, to use a steel, but we're very tight on space. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go for a glass top to give the illusion of transparency uh, to make it look like there's a lot more space in that area. Sometimes, depending on the way the A is facing, it can look like a six. So I'm not entirely sure when we put it together how we're gonna do it. The main challenge when we're thinking of doing this is structural stability. Um, a lot like when we built this custom desk for myself. Now, the two A's have to stand independently and support themselves. I can't be in a meeting and one of the A's topple over and the glass top slides off it. Something else we need to think about is the two A's, once assembled, how they are gonna connect to the glass. And if we're moving it, how are we gonna be able to do that without damaging it? I like the look of stainless steel. So we're gonna design something bespoke that will fulfill both functions, structurally and look good, hopefully. So the five pieces have been made, looking good, ready to be installed. Everything has been made from measured plans, so it should be constructed easily and fit perfectly. It 
do we have to decide? Is the table gonna face this way or that way? To match the A, the table has to be, look at your A. Okay, depends where you're standing. Yeah, okay, let's get the other bits. At first, I thought that the A should be when you come out of the toilet, you look straight that way and you see two A's. But why would anybody come in here and first impressions be from the toilet? So what we've done is we put it in a way when you walk through the door, the first thing you see is the A. Now let's put this together. we need to move it. So here she is, my bespoke custom boardroom table made from stone, stainless steel, and glass. So both the A's are made from a quartz stone. So they are two pieces of 30 mil, which are stuck together to create 60 mil. It's 700 high, 700 wide, and it's polished all round. I love the stainless steel. Now this is an eight mil plate with a return either side and it's bolted into the A's at the top and bottom. Now that eight mil plate was cut to 1200 by 300. And as you can see with the laser cutting, the top is significantly different from the bottom. I love stainless steel, I love branding, and I love this feature. To see Asheville through the transparent glass top is amazing for me. Now this glass is 15 mil thick, it's polished all round and it has dubbed corners, which is a five mil radius. The glass is also low in iron, which means it gets rid of the very heavy green that people often see when they look at glass from a side profile. I just sit at my desk and stare at it. I thought when I bought my Rolls Royce that that would inspire me to work harder and validate my accomplishments, but this table absolutely trumps that. I think it fits perfectly with its surroundings and I'm confident that it will leave a lasting impression on anyone that sits at it or even sees it. When sat at the table in the middle of a meeting, you can screen share and show any information, graphs or videos up there and everybody at the table has a clear line of sight. And when I'm no longer using the table, All I need to do is push it as close to the wall as I possibly can. Nice. Now, when you walk into my office, if you look left, you see my bespoke desk. And if you look right, you see my bespoke boardroom table. Let's hope plenty of big decisions and deals are made at this table. So that's it for the Asheville Bespoke Boardroom Table video. Let us know in the comments what you think, what you would have done differently, and what you would like to see us make next for my office. And remember, my shipping container is portable, and if we change location, it's coming with me exactly as it is. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see a video on us converting this shipping container to create my new office, and click here for a property showcase of 186 Fernhead Road. Anyway, I need to go and sit at my boardroom table and actually do some business.